that it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, so funny, guys? <laughs> oh I my did. god! Dave, it's fate. I come in. I go. Fun's over. It's time to talk to me. You no, do sort of have a good voice to go over a PA to say fun's over. You're a very fun guy, but if I were casting the part of the guy that goes, fun's over, get back in line. It's <laughs> Why late. am I a like, monotone voice? It, no, no, not monotone, but something about it. It's not likable basically... and you can't put your finger on it? Ba uh, baby, I almost called you baby. Baby, I'm just yeah. saying you're the steward from the sketch. That's all I'm saying. You're the guy <laughs> that goes, get off the plane, fun's over. That's you. Yeah, just to say the bye-bye sketch. Does anyone? Yeah. No one remembers that. People remember the bye-bye. I don't know if any of the viewers of this show remember bye-bye. This is what they know you for. The That's people true. that watch the show know you for this show. <laughs> they don't know that I was knocking out dingers on SNL. I didn't have that many, but bye-bye we only did twice, and the second time I don't think we even ran reran it. You only what did bye-bye twice? Yeah, maybe just one. The only one everyone knows is Helen Hunt. What we was did... bigger, bye-bye or making copies? Ooh, interesting. Let's <laughs> go to the phones. I have to say, I probably would, you know, I will do a vote on Lights Out. I think it's making copies. Making copies, I feel like like that sort of, weren't there like commercial parodies of making copies? No, but like, it was okay. Yeah, it did it okay. Yeah, but Babai, the attitude of Babai doesn't sell a lot of Big Macs. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not right. But I tell you, when you go to Burger King about a year or two ago, at, when you walk out, it says, buh bye Oh, my God. <laughs> and I know when I flew, this is how SNL works, just for the people at home. When I flew the day after the sketch, now, they didn't air our sketches on the internet Monday. If you missed it, you missed it. You, you missed, missed it. it. It took six months. You might see the rerun. Yeah. So you had to nail it that first time. So motivational speaker was like that. That one was big immediately. But you just do it in the room. And then you leave, and then you go, was it good? And a lot of times, no. Yeah. But Or the, or the next week, you go, it's sort of catching on, and it's not. Right. But bye -bye, I flew home the next day, and the way the, the, flu, the flight attendant said it to me. And then every flight I took for the next minimum 10 years, every flight attendant said it to me. Ha-ha! <laughs> played an American in their training and on Delta, I think. How about how, and how that's their perception and how they have to change it. Whoa. Wow. Well, but I still true. think Copy Machine was bigger because Schneider going sting a ling a ding dong. I don't know what about that it was great. I don't recall sting a ling a ding. I don't either. That's not ringing a bell. Ding, and, ding. and that kind of funny, I, I'm not just saying this to butter your bread, Spade. Bye bye is still funny. It's still sort of like culturally relevant, that that attitude. And making copies is exact. It's like, it's like, uh, what's up? Like, yeah. it, had, it had a big, and I'm not saying this to shot, shots fired at Rob Schneider in quarantine in a hot tub filled with ranch dressing, watching Best of SNL Rob <laughs> Schneider volume one. I'm not shots no. fired. I'm just saying, I feel like that was a time, and that time is over, and bye bye lives on, bye bye. Oh, that's what you're getting at. Okay. I talked to Schneider. We had a big fat Zoom call, and it was great. So, uh, I was uh, excited to see. It was all comedians last night. So those kind of Zoom calls are fun. Do you oh, think it would have been better back in the day on SNL if you could see the YouTube hits and like how many, like the reception oh, right yeah, after? Of course. And it would have changed everything. Like, I think I'm jealous of SNL now that on Monday they have their best sketch online, no matter where I am. Yahoo, you know, wherever you go, you're like, oh shit. Yeah. And you watch it and you go, oh, it's still a pretty funny show. Now they don't show the worst one, but throughout <laughs> the years, there's a couple, you know, you get it right. Even if you had two takes, that show would be better. But sometimes you start it wrong, like you're in acting class, and you go, can I start over? Yeah. And you're in it, and you're like, fuck, and all your head is going, we started it wrong, it's off, I something's off. I wonder why they, they should have done a, a an East Coast and then a West Coast. I know you, you guys were up anyway. I mean, like, it would have been fun. I mean, it would have been earlier. Then we would have seen two versions. I would have loved it, to yeah. see two versions. You said motivational speaker. Can you imagine... The, the fun that the diehard fans would have watching both feeds. I love it. But now we're going to talk about something more boring, which is our topics. <laughs> They're screaming at me. Stop talking to these fucking assholes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who's in your ear? Gil? <laughs> Gil? <laughs> uh, Tom? <laughs> Brunel? What is that? A hair product? Brunel? <laughs> oh, I forgot my Brunel and Canel. Cun okay, that looks like most of a fucking uh, wildlife show.
That's hilarious. Your name can't be Cunha. That's Cunha Lingus. Get the fuck out of here, Cunha Lingus. John Tatum. Taint. Taintum. I'm going to roast everybody on this fucking staff. Hi. Keep going. All right. Here, here's a big painting of me. That's going to be my avatar. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've seen that on the business end of a glory hall once at the end. Okay. <laughs> oh, sweet. My heart goes out to you during this quarantine. I know you haven't 69 with a supermodel in months, and that must be so hard for you. I don't do shit, dude. There's nothing. You haven't, you haven't smelled nothing strange worse. pheromones no. on that little goatee in so Shut long. <laughs> CSI is always putting a black light around here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and rats are forming gangs. <laughs> you stop it! Don't yeah. let Connor tell us what to do. Yeah, <laughs> rats are forming gangs, and they're eating each other due to restaurant closures. And I gotta say, it does not make me so excited to see rats in restaurants again. Oh, uh, now I thought rats were well. First of all, are you scared of rats? Nikki? Never have been. No, Never, I think they're cute. cute. They have very short lives, so it always makes me feel good when I see a rat and it creeps me out. I'm like, you're going to be dead in a year. Oh, my God. <laughs> Probably less. <laughs> yeah, they have really, really short lives. So I'm always like, yeah, let rats do what they want to do. They, they've never grossed me out. And now I realize that, like, they're from this, they're rat gangs. So if you encounter a rat and it, like, you know, runs across your foot, that's just part of its initiation to join a gang. <laughs> so it right. means no harm. <laughs> that's smart. When I see a rat, I always give it a head nod, like, I give it respect, you know, like if I see a guy in the oh street I'm scared of, I go, like, I'm cool, you know, I get it. Like, don't They're worry They're forming about me. gangs? It's a yes. gang of rats? They like take over, I've heard they take over playgrounds in uh, there too, and restaurants, and they, because no one's in there, so they just start getting bolder and bolder and coming in and. Well, let them enjoy it. I just hope oh, they're have... like 50s gangs, not scary 90s gangs. <laughs> Maybe they're doing. Like a shooting of Rat West Side Story. We don't know. We don't know what's Or going. Ratatouille. Let's get Patton. Let's let's get Patton. Let's, let's, let's get him back in. Let's bump Brad Wallach from this call and get Patton on <laughs> and have him do the voice of Ratatouille eating the fat rat. You know, Ratatouille, <laughs> which I want to see, and don't tell me what happens, but oh, Ratatouille, oh, yeah. I always thought, it's so funny. A lot of the girls you date rat. probably love Ratatouille. <laughs> Ratatouille is, seems like a fun rat, but you know little kids are just going to go up to rats now. Oh, Ratatouille. Uh, that's true. Oh, uh, uh, try to make out with it. We had that problem with Mickey Mouse, and that's what started the plague. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. We had it with bats. That's what started this. We had it with bats. Somebody yeah. was just a big Bob Kane fan. Maybe that's place. from uh, Hotel Transylvania. OMG. I feel responsible in a way. <laughs> <laughs> David Spade, what is your favorite Pixar movie? You know, you know, you have one. What's the one where the lamp jumps around? Is that just the beginning? I think that's, yeah, that's just the beginning. That one's pretty good. Oh my God. And, uh, you are too busy wearing silk robes and slipping in and out of hot I watch these movies. <laughs> the first 20 minutes of Up, and then I turn it off. Nikki I Blake. I, I, heard, I heard Up was too sad, so I didn't watch it. I, on the set of my uh, uh, Gone Now TV show, I used to watch the first 10 minutes of Up in scenes where I had to cry because it would make me cry and then I would just continue. So if you ever see me crying on Crashing, I'm really thinking about an old Pixar woman going up a hill falling, then trying again. She tries again. That's what's important is she tries again and falls. It's so human. It's oh so Oh my God. Yeah, I've been trying to cry during this quarantine. Like clearly I need to cry because everything's, it's like so sad. And like the fact that I'm not, I'm just like, what's going on? So I've been trying to like elicit uh, tears. So I'll maybe check that out. I watched The yeah. Pharmacist last night and I cried a little at that. Is oh, that I a, saw, I is saw that? some of that. Yeah, it's it's sad. It got me going. Does it go? Um, I you don't watch things till the end, do you? The, usually not, but this one I did. Um, I yeah, it's it's <laughs> what a that question. Got what an answer. It sounds. Go, like you don't a, watch the end. You go no. Sounds like a <laughs> very very boring Kevin Costner movie, The Pharmacist. No, I watched. It's just it him not moving me. I have your prescription here. And then a very tight close-up of him moving pills from a silver tray <laughs> into a bottle. And you're at home crying. That's how bad you need to cry. You'll cry at anything. Exactly it. At the end, he goes, I need a paper prescription. You can't call it in. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go back to the doctor and get it. Like, yeah, it's just I the line at CVS. You just Holmes, look at it. Oh, God. Your Cialis is ready. Holmes. <laughs> 
Hacks say Viagra, pros say Cialis. Yeah. <laughs> you take it? Does it work or not? Oh, Cialis is great. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful recreational drug. You don't have to need it to love it, they say. Does it keep or, you or awake it? or not? Cialis? Oh, no, it's not like that. It doesn't that. do anything like that, does it? Does Keeps it make you horny or does it just make you hard oh, and then you're still that, like, your brain is as horny as you are? Nikki, you're, please. I feel like we're on your old show. I would have loved to talk about this on Not Safe. Yeah. I feel it does not make you horny oh. and it does not make you hard. It makes you, when you are horny and you're trying to get hard, it helps. So it's like little, little okay. angels fly up under your dick and go, we got you, boss. We got you. <laughs> you know, I could do that. You just slam your dick in a fucking drawer. <laughs> just go, wham, wham, get a couple CCs in there. Go, oh, go, gosh. now, now, it's working, go. The worst thing, though, is I, I would go on a, on a date <laughs> and think I was probably going to have sex, and then it wouldn't happen. And then I'd go home, and I'd masturbate with just a glorious 10 out of 10 <laughs> digital... Or I wouldn't, and I'd just have an erection. It was like the bat signal was on, and Batman showed up, and he's like, what? What are we doing? What are we, who are we fighting? And I'm like, nobody. It's just us. It's just me oh, and God. Commissioner Gordon up on the roof of Gotham Police Department. Ramming your dick, and, it, and, if, it, and you, what if it doesn't work? You're just, like, calloused. I could have ground maize with it. I could have made my own tortilla. <laughs> I, <can't spice> it. <laughs> I haven't been funny in weeks. This is fun. I forgot this it's is funny. Good. funny. <laughs> Italian beaches have a noose. <laughs> I'm good at this. Stop. What do Italian beaches have? Stop on a dime production. Sorry, that, let's, let's stop the run of jokes we have going and break the train of thought. I would rather just talk about rods all day, but yeah. uh, they, they're, they're putting 15 by 15 plexiglass cubicles up on the beach to keep things safe. Uh, but they probably never burned ants with magnifying glasses because yeah. the, I don't know if that's the answer. Uh, it's an answer. <laughs> Isn't that a punishment for like a rowdy worker on a chain gang? You put them in the hot box. That's the hot box. <laughs> that's how desperate you are to see another Italian in a in a banana hammock. You got to get in a, a, a self bake oven. <laughs> You're yeah, gonna yeah. fry your chest hair, guys. <laughs> Let's I've always wanted to know what it's like uh, for my lizard who died when I was a kid because I stopped feeding it. Uh, it's like it's just... <laughs> he would have loved him and looking at, at a beautiful ocean as he I, passed. I, yeah, no kidding. Bad. Burning ants as a kid. I did it. No, I actually didn't feel bad. I did it and I thought it was funny. Then I got older and I realized it was horrible. Yeah. So now what I do is I will, I'll do it, but just to warm them up if they're cold. But I don't... <laughs> That's I don't so nice. burn them and kill them, but I just go, hey, guys, come here. That is a Pete Holmes joke. I wish I had that joke in my oh, head. Really? That is so on brand for me. It's kind of sweet. <laughs> it really is. It's very adorable. Yeah. Like, it has a I lot like of heart that. behind it. Yeah, I really like that joke very, very much. I'm just glad that Italians have found a way to continue the age-old tradition, their custom, of a piping hot glass of red wine. I'm really happy for them. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is over there? You just want to sit on the beach... Close to your wife, your mom is in between the two of you, and you have a piping hot glass of Chianti, and you cheers the day. <laughs> That's I like, I like the idea there? of the plexiglass. Like these, a lot of these beaches are topless, and finally there's something to like shove them up against. <laughs> oh, like Midnight Express <laughs> or, or uh, Kentucky Fried Movie. That's where I first saw that. That was a, that <laughs> was, was that a parody of Midnight Express in that movie? You think? Was it? I was too young. I don't barely remember a Kentucky Fried movie, and someone, uh, Adam Egott, sent me a scene from it the other day, and I'm like, I knew this movie of it, but I think I was too young. I'm so young. That would explain why. <laughs> I don't what know anything. Thinking of that scene is another way to put angels under my ding-dong during the deed. Really? This, when I went to see <laughs> Animal House or Life of Brian, <laughs> a- and we were 15 or 16, so we went to the UA5, and there was five theaters. So we'd wait. We had our tickets like chitty, chitty, bang, bang. And then when the movie got out, we'd walk in backwards wait. With, the, with the crowd. So it looks yeah. like I was leaving it, but I get right back in. And then I get in and I go sit in the back and hide until it started. Wow, oh, you were like the T-1000. That's incredible. What am I like? <laughs> the T-1000. There's in something Terminator? robotic. Yeah, liquid metal. like You were being more oh. by the crowd. That's yeah. really smart. 
Isn't that yeah. great, Nikki? I did a lot. I of mean, stuff. a lot of kids would just like do the thing on top of each other with the trench coat, but you added a new element. <laughs> a lot of kids did the double. <laughs> <laughs> so many kids were doing you that. You mean Huey, then. Dewey, and Louie? Yeah. Everybody, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a lot, a lot of, of friends. Mouseketeers. Last question. You're in, are you still over in, uh, you're not in LA, Nikki? I'm not in LA. No, I'm in, I'm in St. Louis at my parents' house. I, I, that's why I'm grateful to do, be doing this show. It's the first time I've put on makeup for weeks. I just was in the kitchen and my dad didn't recognize me. <laughs> he said, at least you busted out your necklace from high school that was in your little magic box. I know, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> it you. really was in my jewelry box that I just found. I'm turning into a teenager again. It's fine. Uh, well, like, I have- St. Louis, I, I watched Listen to Your Heart. Oh, no, we can't do it now. It's too late. Why? I have to come back. No, I have so much to say about it. We ran oh. out of time. Even in quarantine over Skype, the I show know. is ruined by the the, the bureaucracy of, of the TikTok TikTok. I know. Who's going to be mad what that you do one do. more topic? I know. What should we do? They're going to text me and tell me what to do. I have so oh, much Tom much says we can do it. it. Tom Dummy. and Gil and Brad and everyone on the top of the Skype said we could Oh, my God. Because Nick we have so much Dave. fun shit to talk about. We talked about SNL. We talked about actual interesting things. Yes, yeah. yes. Now we'll talk about listening to your heart. I love how you got it in there, though. I go, hey, goodbye, everyone. You go, you know what I saw last night? <laughs> <laughs> I Where do- so good. Are you watching it? Go. No. I has it only go. been one so far? Yeah. Okay. And do they listen to her heart? What's going on? Walk okay, us through. It's just, it's American Idol meets Bachelor. And that means that Bachelor and these contestants are all like, um, not as hot as they usually are because they have talent. More interesting. And, except the women, the women are all still hot because you still need to be hot to be talent. Like be anything in life. Yes. So the girls are hot. <laughs> the guys are all like we, guys you'd never see on the Bachelor. There's one guy that's super hot. Um, and he, uh, yeah, the, the, it's, it's just fascinating. But here's the thing that I was going to say, you don't know anything about the show. You haven't seen it at all. I haven't seen it yet. God, you really got to watch it. Well, okay. Well, so one of, I had to watch the show because I did a bachelor recap episode with Nick Vile on his show. So I watched it a week ago and there was this guy on it that I was like, God, he's like my type. I like, I love him. And I went on this podcast and I was talking about like, I just loved that guy. Here come the DMs. <laughs> And yeah, and Nick was like, nah, he's, he's there. He's in it for the wrong reasons. I can just tell. And I was like, no, I really like him. And so then someone sent me his profile being like, Hey, he's not as like, cause Nick was saying he's really short. And I was like, I don't care. And they sent me a picture of, they sent me his profile. I went to it. He's following me already. And I was like, Hello. <laughs> it's all yeah. done with the act itself. What? Get it yeah. going. Oh. Yeah, it's there. He's following me. And then I was like, okay, I'll give it a follow back. Then I was like, oh. let's see if he's DM'd me. Because sometimes that stuff gets buried, right? Yeah. <sighs> this dude DM'd me back in October. 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 And was like, I watched your special. I loved it. Wait, and I kind before of, you said that you whoa. did like Like, Dude, I looked back. Pete, right. I hadn't seen it. Well, I had written back at the time. But I was just like, thank you. Because I was like so busy. I was getting a lot of dick thrown at me back then yeah, sure. and i was just like, like that hot oh, dog you, moving on yes yeah, so okay. then i see that i like i kind of left him hanging i was like oh i'm in good standing like he said a lot of nice things and i just kind of like hearted it and left it so last night i saw it and i was like oh my god we have an unfinished conversation this guy's really cute and i don't know if he ended up with anyone on the show it's not done so i slid back in and I, oh my God, this is so weird. You messaged me. I just saw your episode the other night. You're awesome. Great job on the show. I kept it not flirty. Just yeah, tone it down a little bit. I did. Yeah. I toned it down. It was all just, I was just like, good job. You're a great singer. And then he just was like, thank you so much. And like, that was it. So oh. I'm like, yeah, I missed my window because now he's in this stage. He's of getting, in the driver's seat. Oh. Yeah, he's getting inundated with pussy right now. So I just got to wait six weeks until his show is over and everyone forgets who he is. <laughs> oh what if he gets shit can off the show next week? He's got an attitude like he's on a couple weeks though. Yeah, that's exactly the attitude that I, he was very nice, but it, it didn't, you know, when you DM someone and they're just like, hi, they're just like, cool, got it. Thank you for being a fan. You're like, I'm not really a fan. I'm trying to get fucked here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks oh for being God. a fan of mine. We, he's like, what have you been doing? I've been doing this show 24 hours a day. You're like, 
oh, the fountain at the mall isn't working, so I just lay in that sometimes. And he's like, cool, 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 cool. So you got that going. You're like, yeah, it's St. Louis blues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so Pete, pathetic. You want that one yeah, too? I, I can't watch uh, this stuff for real. People told me to watch Love is Blind, and I tried. It's just uh-huh. dum-dums talking to dum-dums, and it drives me crazy. There was one of those dates, they're talking through the wall, and the girl goes, so do you have any kids? And the guy goes, not that I know of. And she goes, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I would have crawled through that fucking wall like the Hulk. <laughs> like, she meant it. Like, she yeah. hadn't fucking heard nothing. And I turned it off. I said to Val, I was like, turn this off. I can't. It's, it's like looking at nuclear waste or something. I can't. But... If you're blending The Bachelor and American Idol, I hope they bring Simon Cowell in to judge the fucking. Yeah, oh, that would be good. <laughs> it's not for me. It's not for me. You call that thrusting. Hollywood. <laughs> Could have used some Cialis. You didn't exactly take it to Hollywood, did you? Yeah, oh, cheers. No. <laughs> no, the show is obnoxious. It's like The Bachelor. There's always one guy on the first night of The Bachelor who like busts out the guitar and like serenades everyone. You go, oh, he's leaving. And now it's just a show of all of that guy. So oh, my God. let it be a, a thing. Bad it's pretty thing. obnoxious. Well, How I many heard... times have they sung Wonderwall? That's all I want to know. How many oh, times? All doing John Mayer covers. That's all they're doing. Wow. Are they, are they allowed? Oh, they have to pay for all that. Yeah. I know big... a lot about show business. <laughs> uh, I heard Chris Harrison plays the role of the music exec they have to blow on the third episode. <laughs> Even the guys. I miss people so much. Uh, but if I... You know, when this is what's coming out, I'm like, maybe it's good that we all just stay inside and stop making stuff. <laughs> this is we don't need this. <laughs> well, you love it, Nikki. You love it. You're I sad. I do love it. Yeah, I you... love reality shows. I'm dying to get on one. I want. I just they're they're my favorite. Yeah. Listen, those 23 musicians lived in a house together anyway, so they just decided to film. <laughs> <laughs> they live over on Yucca and fucking uh, Wilton. Oh yeah. my god, that's serious. Shit. All right. Well, I don't know. I guess do they get a rose or a backstage pass? <laughs> oh, Pete's doing something in closing. Let's watch. Let's say everybody stay six feet away from other paintings. Uh, <laughs> I should, I should, you should put, put a mask, mask over that. <laughs> Why do I have socks on my dirty, desk? filth? They look like your balls. These are clean. These. This is what my balls look like. This is what my dog's dick. I don't know why I have clean socks on my desk, but that's what no, I've come to. You make your dog lick that, then you quick do the switcheroo to your real nuts and the dog goes. <laughs> I could do it. Like I'm getting teabagged by Hellboy. <laughs> this is sickening. You can't do that on the show. Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, Nobody gives a shit. No one's watching. No one cares. The it's world's on quick. fire. Teabag Hellboy. We're only airing the first six minutes of this anyway. The other 28 we're throwing in the garbage. Uh, so, Nikki, it's nice to see you in your high school necklace. Thank you. Yeah. We, we visit you again. Give us an update on that situation. Ooh. Wait. Oh, yeah, I will. Nothing's going to happen. He's I'm going to watch it, though. But I have friends. I've hit you with about three of my friends that like you. So you do have these guys that like you. And then you and all three whiffed, Pete. I go, well, this guy, she goes, gong. I go. You don't know one thing. What does he do? Realtor. Gong. I go, Nikki. He no. Over. She goes, I'm listening. You set me up with people. I'm sorry. I'm going to be a little picky. I just, I get offended when people set, try to set me up with people That's that I'm like, he's d- twice my age and he d- doesn't do anything interesting for a living. It's just, sorry. It's got to be better than that. Are we talking about me or the other guy? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm twice your age and don't do anything. Uh, <laughs> Nikki, no, you're always very nice about it, but I do let you know, just, no, just for your own me. ego, that all my friends are like, hey, what's going on with Nikki Glazer? And I go, okay, she already funny. said in the same house as her parents that she's having a lot of dick thrown at her. So she's doing fine. <laughs> No, that was back in October. It's not. Oh. It's really she needs more brains throw at her. Oh my God, Nikki, you are gonna clean. You could clean up in St. Louis. You could see any arch that you want to. <laughs> I can't clean up in St. Louis. I'm on these apps and I'm like trying to date like local guys, and they're all I can. They're all holding a Stanley Cup or a like, <laughs> like beer spilled on their shirts. They're all alcoholics. There's no men in this town that are my age that are single and worth dating. They're um. 
Yeah, but after the quarantine, I think there's going to be a lot of divorces. So. Oh yeah, waiting yeah. it out, waiting it yeah. out. Well, if you want to get laid on the beach, I know uh, an Italian company that can give you a, a clear <laughs> <Yeah>. cubicle. <laughs> Let's see who's horny in your neck of the woods, as, as Al, Al Roker would say. Okay, um, you guys, let's do it again next time, but shorter. Okay, missed you already. Bye. Well, we'll you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, thank you. Hang up, hang up, I'm trying to hang up on peace.